Hey guys, my name is Marcel Ernie, 2009 LMM Duramax Diesel Dually. Check out the Amsoil. As Neven, who is filming, knows, this is the Amsoil pre filter, and that keeps all the wasps and the bugs from being embedded into the material. You know how these things get just jammed with wasps and bugs. So the other advantage of the pre-filter is water. This prevents water from going through into your filter. So you know all those guys and even that do those cold air intakes in the front wheel well of their sports cars? Oh yeah. Well, you know all of a sudden there it's flooding, there's a huge rainstorm and they drive through a water hole that's deeper than they thought. Gloop, boom, hydraulic lock, bam. Smacks that just just cracks your crank, whatever, right? Oh, yeah, that actually happened to my brother with his Altima a Nissan Altima He had a cold air intake down there a nice engine one Boom cold, uh, hydraulic lock the engine blew it up and We didn't have one of these on there unfortunately, but that would have saved it. Yeah water doesn't go through it I don't know how that works, but it probably beats off I think well, we'll, we'll test it out when we wash it yeah. and then this is an Amsoil cone filter and the nice thing about Amsoil is that you're not oiling them. The, the maintenance is just vacuum them and blow them out with air compressed air. Um, and that's it. And, and of course, uh, before I remove the air filter, clean the area around the air filter because you don't want to, the whole point is to keep dirt out. And uh, here's one of the ones you oil right here. Yeah, you know, this is one you oil. So, you know, the, the pleats look the same. Um, but this one you got to oil and the disadvantage of oiling is that oil then goes into Your intake and I don't know if you ever mm -hmm. looked at many intakes. They get mm -hmm. full of oil and all greasy Yep, and there's a difference in efficiency So I don't know what the efficiency on this one, but I can tell you it's not even close to this This no. is absolute no. efficient, which is 98.7 percent same as the oil filters We were just talking about earlier right and even that's right absolute efficient to I think it was 15 microns and this one is around absolute efficient to probably a hundred yeah it's a huge difference but Amsoil doesn't make filters for motorcycles they used to make them for the Harleys but they stopped doing it they just didn't have the sales unfortunately yeah. so, so that's it yeah so, and check out how clean my whole LMM engine bay is right now not only did I clean the filter I went L I went OCD on it <laughs> Yeah, it looks good. All right, so I'm gonna remove this, so take a pause and we'll come back. One. So I loosened up the cable, guys, and I'm just taking it off, trying not to get, obviously, any dirt. Luckily, it's upside down. Look how tight the fit is. Just, I ordered the biggest cone I could get. Check out the inside, even. Obviously, it's clean. Who makes that filter? This uh, is an Amsoil filter. An Amsoil, so. Yeah, so they make, um, you know, what is it, general multi-use filters, and you can, they have different inlet sizes, different cone, obviously different shapes of cone. You know, you can have one, what, what is this called? This one's um, tagging in, what's that called? Um, tapered. Tapered, yeah, this is a tapered one. What about if I wanted the velocity stack in the front? You know how some of them have that little velocity stack hole? No, I'm no, not quite sure not on quite. that, but uh, I had to work with this box because the guy before had an AFE intake. So he had an AFE filter on here, oh. which is big ass. It's a great filter too but it wasn't absolute efficient to 15 microns, you know, so I wanted to get uh, the nanofibers. So we can take a pause and we'll come back and we'll clean this out with a vacuum and blow it out and we'll clean this out with uh, the water and soap. Perfect. Three. And we're back guys, so Neven's just gonna do a see what that happens with the water. Okay, so I, let me put my hand in here. I'm putting my hand in here. What's going on? My hand's not getting wet. Really? That good, huh? Oh, now it got wet. Yeah. <laughs> but I see the definite advantage to that, though. Oh, yeah. So it's not going to... There you go. It's it's not going right through. It's not going through at all, really. If you put your hand on the surface and you touch If it touches it. the surface, it absorbs it a bit. But I otherwise, think... I mean, that's the whole point, though, is... Now spray in the inside, just it's fill not, it up. It's not filling up with water on the inside either, so that's good. I see the advantage of this. And not only that, though, look how easy this is to clean. You just, just throw that stuff inside there. A little bit of soap and you're good to go, yeah. There it is. Clean and then just, boom. Spread off real quick. Get that soap out of the middle. Yeah, I, I wish Amsoil made uh, air filters for like the street bikes with these pre-filters, man, because pretty much just on the racetrack, my filter never gets dirty, but it gets full of wasps. 
Yeah. You know, it, it just gets the bugs in there and I'm always trying to clean them out with like a pick. But, you know, because I'm, I'm really cheap on changing my uh, oil filter or air filter on the three pikes. <laughs> yeah, not only that, though, it's annoying, though, because that's every, for every, you know, ounce or two of debris you get inside of there. I mean, that's like you're losing a fret, like a little bit of your fresh air charge each and every time. Yeah, exactly. And I have to get OEM filters and I hate going to the BMW dealer. Yeah. <laughs> and not only that, though, but like, uh, you know, can makes the oil type filters for bikes. And the one thing we didn't mention earlier is if you overdo it on that, you know, that could get sucked up into your uh, mass airflow sensors, mm -hmm. little sensitive wires there. And I've seen bikes that were clogged up with that stuff. It wouldn't start. And I've seen it on cars, same exact thing. It got, it got the oil all over the wires and then over feathers, the sensor. Yeah. Feathers got inside the, uh, the sensor, like little fine bits of bugs or whatever else is getting sucked up in there. And then guess what? You know, like you're getting all these little false readings and yeah. So yeah, definitely happens. the nanofibers, it's synthetic fiber media. So the media is not paper. You know, paper filters are efficient, pretty decent, like 45 microns yeah. at absolute. And I'm telling you real world numbers here. Well, these ones are 15, obviously. And it's synthetic fibers. Every piece of media is the same diameter, even. So every strand is identical when it's created as a synthetic fiber. Paper, you're going to have strands that are 40 microns, 20 microns. And then the whether it's the oil or the debris is going to find the path of least resistance. Kind of like it's going to create a river. And then, boom, that river becomes the flow. And not only that, though, but those paper filters and the oil filters, like you, the CFM is lower. The motor is getting less air. You know, those of us who want to make more power or have a little bit more, you know, acceleration uphill on the highway or whatever the case may be, you know, or better responsiveness, uh, you'll definitely notice that. Compared to a paper style unit. All right. Well, let's move on to the air filter. Let's get the vacuum out. Yeah. Let it dry, dry. in the sun. <laughs> Rebecca found a new seat. In the sun? Yeah, she's always moving around, us working. <laughs> she's stu studying. I am. All right. There we go. Simple as that, guys. Easy maintenance. So the AMZO filters are called EAA is the code. And then the EAO is the oil filters. And of course they gotta put the RMZ in every video. There it is guys, the RMZ. Oh yeah. And then there's the Ninja 400. Oh, and the R3. And the Corvette. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> What is, yeah, blow it out from the inside now. Perfect. So you just want to be a little careful not to blow too much, but there you go. You can see some dust coming out. So pretty much, you know, every 5,000 miles, just to clean the filter, you're good. You rather do that than oiling it every time. Or washing it and then to dry. Hell yeah. Saves you time, man. So we just recharged the air compressor. Let's finish it out. Oh, we got some power now. <laughs> just kind of get between the plate, the pleats, you know, a little bit, but don't jam it right in there. Yeah, we... And then a little bit overall. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. So uh, we'll in reinstall and I'm going to add a little bit of grease to the lip. Um, so then, you know, if there was a little bit of air space, the grease would catch it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm just going to apply a thin layer of grease to the inside. Just, we do this on dirt bikes too. I mean, you have to do it on the dirt bike. It's really recommended for sure. Because, you know, you're always going to have grease trying to get past the seal, right? Mm -hmm. So just a little bit of Amsoil synthetic in there. Yeah, that preserves the seal too because sometimes that stuff dry rots. Good point, yeah. You put it on the end too. Yeah, and you don't want your big expensive filter to get ruined. So now, oh, well we can put, well there's the pre-filters drying, but we can put the pre-filter on after. But uh, so essentially get it up there and put it on this intake system I got Damn. here. Bam, that's it. Oh, probably forgot a step. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to 